Shalom. Here's following Yeshua. Welcome back to the rock. People are losing it. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is, is that there is a system in place to insulate, insulate those that do lose it. You're seeing in a lot of cities now, people running up in the stores. You know, that there's, there's that saying, you know, when people have nothing else to lose, they lose it. But see, today, you don't have to have anything left to lose. You don't have to get to a point of complete desperation to run up in a grocery store, a, a department store, a Nike outlet, a, you know, a store that sell these expensive, you know, uh, bags that women carry. And just start taking shit. And I want that to, to be a placeholder in your mind. Because people have no problem taking. There's hardly any law in more and more cities and more and more states. There's hardly any law. See, the thing is, is that it's not the law that keeps people in line. It's the punishment of what happens. In the book, the Bible... If you ever hear me reference the, the book, I mean the Bible, it says, because judgment is not expedited speedily, it is fully set in the heart of men to do wicked. You see it in these churches today. You see these leaders, these pastors, these elders, they, they know they right and dirty. I don't care what you say, what you think you believe. They know they are right and dirty. They know they are stealing from a large majority of the people. They know they're misinterpreting the Bible. You know, the Bible actually warns us. If you read in Isaiah and Ezekiel, y'all warns us about the shepherds are wicked. The teachers, the leaders are wicked. We see it all throughout the book. There were always those in Israel who were trying to ascend higher to make gain off of the regular people. And they have no remorse in what they're doing. So these people don't care. Because there is no punishment. Because what? who's going to punish them? What? The members who refer to themselves as their pastor's sheep? The, the, they are? They ain't nobody going to say nothing. And that's what we have today. We have that same system set up on this earth. People can run up in the stores, jack shit, and your job is to sit there and pretend like you didn't see it. Because if you dare step in, hey, there could actually be a punishment for you for stepping in. I mean, I don't know why you want to step in anyways. <laughs> get your shit and get home back to get back home to your family, brothers. Women, wives, get your shit and get back home to your husband and children. If you know, you know what you know. But I'm just amazed at the level of the, the idea that people had that well, people are afraid of the law. People are only afraid of the punishment, and once that punishment is removed. People don't care. They're just losing it. And that it is not their sanity. They lost the fear. You know, these people today say, I have the fear of y'all. No, you don't. And you go around <sighs> sinning and doing shit. You don't have the fear of y'all. What people have is the fear of punishment. Just like, you know, people use the faith. They use, you know, Christianity as a fire escape religion. It's not that they actually want to serve y'all and make it to the kingdom. They're just scared of burning. It's not that people want to be, you know, uh, productive people. They're just afraid of being poor. People, you know, this, this, this idea of civility that we have. Oh, you know, people really care. I mean, there are people that care for their brother, their sister, their neighbor. I thank the father that I'm in an area where that's what seems to be. People seem to generally care about you. Generally. But for the most part, especially in those major metropolitan areas, those major cities, or cities, those areas that are built up, people don't care. That's why you see bands of people running and jacking shit, stealing, robbing. They don't care about you. They don't care about what you're going through. They don't care about how you feel. They don't care about what they're, how them taking from you is greatly going to impact you and your family. They don't care. 
these leaders, so-called leaders, they don't care that by taking from you, you're in a position to possibly not be able to pay your bills. The chance of you coming out of her decreases more and more. That's why on this channel I say things like, hey, keep your shit, brothers and sisters. Brothers, keep your stuff. Get out. Buy your land, your property, or move out of the major city to a suburb if you can. Or move to a mobile home. I mean, the Bible does say better is a simple life in a mean cottage than delicate fare in another man's house. Those apartments that you're paying for, it's another man's house. That land that you're staying on while you are uh, uh, serving some other man in the building of his vision, that's another man's house. So I just want to, you know, uh, hopefully input into our mind. We have to make sure we are protecting ourselves because who's doing it? The, a lot of these areas, and I'm not pro-police at all. I am definitely not pro-police. But when you have a defund the police and you have areas where they told everybody, hey, we disbanded the police and then people start acting crazy. And you're like, why are people acting crazy? Because there's no punishment. There's no, there's no consequences for the actions that people do today. People can do the craziest shit, and there's not going to be a consequence. People can, they can defraud each other, steal from each other, lie, try to kill, murder, steal, uh, uh, sl slander. I mean, they can do anything they want to. All the things that, that, that the book, the Bible talks about, the love of man waxing works and worse. All those things can happen, and for the most part, nobody cares. Think about... Think about if you were a hardworking man or woman and you spent 10, 15, 20 years building a business just to have a bunch of hoodlums run in, tear up your business, break your shit, break your display cases, punch holes in walls, destroy displays, take your merchandise, damn near take your cash register, and if you don't get out of the way, they'll take your life. And you watched it all happen, and it happened you know, the, the movie Gone with Nicolas Cage, Gone in 60 Seconds, it literally happened. In 60 seconds to, to two minutes, your life has been turned upside down, and it happens every single day. This is why I try to stress to people, come out of her, and even if you do come out of her, whether you're in her, and that, that's the major city, the Babylon system, whether you're deeply embedded into it or not, you need to, if you can lawfully have a possession of a, of a protection device, have one. In these times, have one and have a way to get out of whatever situation you're in. Because these times are not getting better and people generally don't care. They don't care how you're going to be affected by their actions. People are worried about themselves. These pastors, these leaders, politicians, uh, uh, CEOs, all the way down to the man who's working at Taco Bell. Who's running up into these stores. So that he can jack shit and sell the merchandise. So he don't got to work at Taco Bell anymore. Everybody's looking for a come up. And that come up is illegal. Illegal is according to Yah's law. But everybody's looking for one. You have to be aware that people's only fear today is being caught. And punished. Do not become a soft target. Or an easy victim. And please, for the love of Yah, stop believing that everybody's good. Just because they vote like you, just because they look like you, just because they talk like you, wear head covering like you, wear skirt like you, have a name change like you, grow food like you, come out of her, live, you know, off grid like you, it doesn't mean that the people care about you. It doesn't mean that people even want to see you thrive. You have to understand that people are, are in this for themselves. And there are very few that actually care about others. So take the time. Prepare yourself. And for you sisters, I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it a thousand times. But you already know what I'm to say. Get yourself covered. These are not the times of play. You have to understand that as these times continue to get worse... Truly, nobody cares how you feel. Nobody cares what you're going through. 
And those that do care are the ones giving you the good advice. The ones that don't care are the ones that tell you, girl, you all right. Hey, bro, you all right. Just come give me more of your stuff. Keep funding my lifestyle. Anyways, we got some of my potatoes, or potatoes, tomatoes right here. Inside the greenhouse, you see some, those are gourds. Anyways, bless y'all. Hopefully this hits the mind of somebody. Shalom.